Yo, what's up guys? Alright, Liffy here. Um, I wanted to do a uh, build video on a um, a build that I've been really enjoying enjoying <laughs> for Remnant. Um, so with the uh, Subject 29-23 patch, they made a lot of changes to armor and, and uh, trinkets, rings, um, necklaces, and things like that. Uh, so as you can see here, we're using the Slayer Slayer set. Um, the set used to be really good for like um, single shot weapons, um, so that's what I was kind of testing out again. But as you can see, um, there's a new ring on the screen, right? Burden of the Gambler. All right, so let's take a look at this. This is why I kind of made this build, and it's a lot of fun, right? Because something about this is a little bit broken, all right? So Burden of the Gambler. Read this. Disables weak spot damage bonus. Increases crit chance by 15% and crit damage by 25%. Alright. So you can see burdens, they're supposed to have a negative effect, right? Disables weak spot damage bonus. Uh, This one does not. So, you can still get weak spot hits. I don't know what they mean by damage bonus. I'm assuming it was like it was supposed to be weak spots altogether. However, this thing still poops on stuff, one-shotting everything. Um, I was just doing a run-through on like normal real quick, kind of testing it out on adventure mode, farming a few missing items that I don't have. Um, so just going over the build real fast, Burden of the Gambler. Uh, you, you could replace this with another ring if you want. Um, we have Devouring Loop, of course, Critical Hits, you know, a 6% chance to deal 4 time damage, this thing's crazy, so think about this, alright? You're still getting weak spot damage bonus crit crits, this is gonna stack with that, right? So, uh, I think I hit like 20k or something on one guy, um, not gonna get that all the time, right? But, headshots there. Um, uh, Talisman of Animosity, uh, increases weak spot damage by 30%, weak spot kills increases all damage by 10% for 10 seconds. So, um... Since weak spot damage is not disabled, uh, why not stack on it more, right? With crit, right? Um, now, with this Slayer, it was changed a good bit. So, what I was kind of testing out was Slayer versus, um, what do you call it? The Night Hunter? Night Stalker? Sorry. I have a transmog on it, so it looks a little bit different. Shroud skin, Night Stalker Shroud skin. Um, so, Slayer... Uh, this armor set has been changed and reworked for the new uh, DLC that's dropping. Um, this patch came out just this past Thursday uh, and changed all the armor sets pretty much in the game, right? So this one was reworked. So let's read this real quick. Reloading increases the total damage dealt to the next enemy hit with that weapon. Last 10 seconds. Reload speed is increased by 10%, right? So the idea here is you're going to use single shot weapons um with a little bit of buff to reload speed right and then it's going to increase total damage dealt to the next enemy hit with that weapon um 10 seconds is plenty of time between enemies right uh 30 percent damage bonus right here um on top of that we're gonna aim for headshots uh, you don't have to though like that's that's kind of the nice thing about this um the only you know plus side to the headshots is pretty much going to be the the talisman or the necklace um you know you Weak spot damage is not disabled, so you still have, like, crit regardless on body hits. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to pretty much, like, poop on everything that you hit. Anyways, um, the one flip side to this that you could kind of take if you don't want to mess with Slayer, um, and you're really actually going for weak spot hits, is the uh, Night Stalker. So this one, this set was changed as well. So you can mix and match it, to be honest, and it's all going to play really, really well. I've tried both of them. Sharpshooter increases total ranged and weak spot damage. Reduces spread of firearms by 20%. The good thing about this one, um, you can take like any weapon style, right? Like an assault rifle or some machine gun, whatever you want. Um, or, or just the hunting rifle. You know, it's it's fast, right? And then it, even if you like, so let's say you put the boots on um, and you want to use like hunting rifle, right? Well, you can plow through now that you have a, a decent buff to reload speed hunting rifle should play pretty smooth um you also have the damage here right and then if you're getting you're slamming you know headshot after headshot weak point weak weak spot hits um you know you're guaranteed to get a devouring loop crit in there too um so it's really nice so me personally um when i'm playing with with friends uh while i'm live streaming on twitch and stuff i don't usually run with like crossbow and hunting pistol 
I think in group play, uh, it's not as I don't know, single shot stuff's not really as fun to me. I'd rather like plow through with some machine gun, assault rifle, um, some crazy, you know, like maybe beam rifle, something different, ricochet rifle. I think the play styles of that stuff is just fun, right? Um, melee weapon doesn't really matter here. You just take whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. I just have hero sword equipped. Uh, as far as the mods go, all right, it's kind of important. So the patch recently um, made a lot of changes to mods. They feel a lot stronger. Um, summon scale with mod damage. Mod damage in general is a lot a lot better, I feel like. Um, def definitely better. Some of the armor sets increase mod damage is great, right? So with this, uh, you can run Song of Swords if you want even more damage. More damage. Um, the only caveat is uh, you might feel more comfortable or make a better run using something that is going to help with clear right if you get overwhelmed real fast uh because of reload speed and things like that even though you're going to one shot like all the enemies regardless of a headshot or not right um like that's why i have breath of the desert on the hunting pistol um because mod regen is like insane now um this bad boy you could just spam this right like you don't even need to run like guns in this game anymore seriously um, still fun, obviously, right? Like, I'm running with this build. It's great. Definitely recommend it. Um, give it a shot, but uh, that's why I'm running a little bit of clear here. Of course, you can change this out for whatever you feel comfortable. You know, maybe you want some defense. Um, you know, may maybe some burning effect. Whatever you want. Um, explosive shot with it could be awesome on uh, hunting pistol. You know, clear out ads that way. Um, you could even run, like, a defensive thing on crossbow or something like that. Oh, nice. Guess what? The game just crashed. So that's another thing. I was literally about to run through this boss too with you guys. Um, but I run, I do all my videos in one take. So um, awesome. Sweet. So on that note, that's one thing that happened with this patch. On, on the new Remnant patch. Um, it, people will be crashing a lot. Like every 30 minutes to an hour or something like that. I don't know. what. It, I don't know if it's a minimary leak or what. But you got to restart the game. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make the build, share it with you guys. Lots of changes that happen. I think it'll be a good build going into the new subject 29, uh, 23. I always remember, who remembers the number? 29, 23, right? I hope they explain that. Why not 29, 33, 29, 53, 29, 29? Very hard, difficult to remember. But anyways, dudes, um, like, subscribe. I'll be, I stream every single day over on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv backslash L-I-F-Y, Liffy. Um, make sure to drop a follow there. Uh, we're going to be playing Remnant for like the next month or so. Even then, I've always loved this game. Always come back to it. So definitely check us out. I'm going to post some more build, build videos um, and a few other Remnant things. So yeah, appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Take it easy. Peace, peace.